time on what's up welcome to a new quick win today we're talking about the ionic animation controller this animation controller is new since ionic version 5 i think or was it 4 no i think it's 5 so uh, we're going uh, into details on how to animate elements on your screen and also how to change the transition animations that are already pre-configured in your ionic app so i've already started a blank new ionic application i just changed the color a bit and I also added a second page, but I didn't really do anything specific in here. Just added a back button and a little card. This will be for our demonstration of uh, whatever, no, not no, uh, for the um, animation between pages. But let's start with a simple example. And we can also take a look at the animations API. You can find this uh, in the Ionic documentation basically the idea is let's change this to angular to use an animation controller and add an animation on a specific element so shouldn't really be a huge problem so let's see first of all we go ahead with the animation controller animation controller then we of course need uh, some elements on our screen i'll just bring in two elements so one button to toggle our animation because you can of course start it stop it um, pause it and you can do all of this from code the second one will be a simple square and to give this some color let's change our uh, styling or oh, actually i already added this so square just a little blue box on our screen so, so there we go we got the toggle button which has of course no functionality and this square that we can now animate on our screen and we will do this with a simple example so first of all we need a reference to this square and we can get this ng after um sorry after hello um of course this needs to be implements and then we can go ahead with ng after view in it because we have to wait until we access an element as a view child in our case we want to access the uh, square so uh, it has the hashtag square that's why we can access it in here uh, static false and then let's call this one just uh, square and of the type element reference now with that element uh, we got access um, or we got access to the element and let's also create a local variable that we can then use of the type animation so all of this as you can see comes from the ionic angular package and now we can get started by first of all setting our animation to this dot animation controller create and you see there are only two functions so it's pretty easy to get started and we will give it the ID um, my animation doesn't really matter too much at this point now you define the animation up front and you can do this for uh, or imagine that you could have multiple animations on your page you just define all of them up front and you can start them later at the right timing um, so for our animation let's say our animation um, first of all needs an element which is now our square dot native element and now we can go ahead and chain a bunch of things to our animation so let's just pick a few um, we go with a duration let's make this I don't know one and a half seconds you can add easing uh, ease out is always nice then you get the iterations um, which means how often will it be displayed let's use infinity to just do it all the time over and over again and then the interesting part is actually um, from two so if you want to animate specific properties um, of the element let's just bring in two for example we could transform the x coordinate from 0 to 300 that means it will uh, move along the screen and we can also change the opacity at the same time now all of this is now created but you won't see the animation until you actually start it and that's what we're going to do in the next step 
Um, let's add another variable is playing, which is false in the beginning. And then we had the toggle animation. What's the name? Uh, toggle animation, of course. Uh, and within we will check if it's currently already playing because I didn't really found a way um, to check on the animation object if it is playing. Um, perhaps we could play, pause, stop. Uh, well, you could listen to the um, progress, but I don't think get directions, get fill, uh, iterations, easing, duration. Um, I don't think that there's something like get is playing or anything like this. Never mind, we can do it like this. Um, we can simply toggle it back to not playing. Not this is playing. And then in here, if it is currently playing, we need to stop it. Otherwise, we need to start it. Let's start with this animation.play. And let's use for toggle whatever you want. Um, pause is, of course, pausing in place. If you call stop, the animation will be reset it to the beginning. Now we can toggle our animation. Remember, we create the animation and it only starts once we press start. And since we said to iterate this uh, infinity, it will just run over and over again. And you can now chain also other elements. Um, you could add keyframes to this animation, um, which means you can really build great animations with this. And pressing our toggle will now stop the animation in place or pause the animation in place, stopping would of course look a bit different. Stopping would mean the animation runs. I press stop and it's back to the beginning. That is the basic idea of the animations controller. It is really a great addition to Ionic. Um, you can make your screens more interactive, play, uh, play around with this. Um, there's also of course the angular animations, which are I think a bit more tricky to set up. They might work better if you have something like staggering animations or animating the entrance and leaf elements with ng4 and ng if. But this animation controller is really a great addition. And if you got any questions about animating elements on the screen or would like to see um, perhaps a certain example built with this, just let me know in the comments. Now we move on to a second topic that is a bit more challenging, but at the same time, really, really interesting. To get started, create a new folder at the uh, app and call this uh, animations. And I will create a new file, um, nevanimation.ts. What we want to do now is we want to animate the entrance of our second page. And first of all, we need our button. So let's put another button here. Um, just use the router link, which should be second. Um, go to second because uh, what's your problem? I just added this file. Am I not allowed to add this file? Uh, yeah, move to trash, whatever. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, why, please? Source file not found. Yeah, I deleted the file. Just. Just do the reload, come on. I really have to reload the whole thing. Well, that's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, I think you already know how the general animation looks like. There's different, or there are different animations for iOS and Android, but we can tweak this and we can find this. Actually, it's kind of hard to figure out. So in the animations, um, you can read a lot about uh, different animations and quite, to the bottom of that page uh, is overriding Ionic component animations. Here's an example uh, for, come on, for Angular, uh, for the modal controller. Um, for the modal controller, you can simply pass in enter and leave animations and define your own animations. You can also do this at the config level, uh, so which means at the top of your Ionic application. Uh, you can also find this in the config section and you could search this list for the animation builder to see for which uh, transitions you can use the animation builder. So action sheet, enter and leave, alert, enter and leave, uh, loading, enter and leave, 
modal enter and leave and also um, nav animation. Overrides the default animation of all ion nav and ion router outlet across the whole application, which means you can basically create your own transitions for the pages, which is something we had in the past with a native transitions transitions element um, or package, which actually doesn't really work that well anymore. So that's a great alternative to build your own transitions, maybe native transitions with this animation builder. Uh, if you go further to the list, you will see all the um, overlays, picker, popover, uh, toast can be modified using the animation builder. And actually I didn't really found how to use it in general because the animations just chose this for one example and in place here and then it's basically done. So perhaps the documentation could be a bit improved. Now, anyway, back to our app. We can go to second, as you can see, it's the standard go to second animation. It kind of comes up from the bottom or whatever. Now let's change this. Um, by finally creating our nav animation file now with the permission of Visual Studio and Ionic. And what we do in here is we're gonna create an animation uh, which looks in general like this. We can, no, we don't wanna do this. I wanna import the animation. Um, looks like I have to do it myself. Looks like everything is messed up. Um, it's a fresh installation of Visual Studio Code, so perhaps it's just my bad. What we need in here is the animation controller, of course, and animation from Ionic Angular. And right now it complains because we're not returning an animation. But we can now define our enter animation in here and then use this enter animation that we export right in our app module. And here's the place where you can set the configuration for your Ionic application. And we already see if we type the nav animation can be specified and we're gonna set it to the enter animation uh, from the file we just created. Now let's add a little lock and perhaps return null because that will make the compiler really happy. Um, Let's lock the elements. So the base element is this one and the other element options. Of course, I don't know which pretty ATL's lint really. Why are you so strict with me today? Okay, go to second. Uh, we actually notice that the uh, animation is gone, so it immediately appears. Doesn't mind, uh, never mind the error. And we see the base element is the ion router and the options contains the entering element and the leaving element. So you can define how the initial page should look like uh, or how it should be transformed or enter and how the, or the entering and the leaving should look. I guess you, you get the point. Um, you could also specify um, different animations using the mode in here. So all uh, really interesting information is in here. Now with that in place, let's define a little animation for the entering and let's put a duration here to test out our application more easily. Uh, I shouldn't do this, but I should this. Um, const animation or animation controller equals new animation controller. So you see the syntax is a bit different in here. We don't have a constructor. We just have this one function, but that's no problem for us. Now we can go ahead with the animation controller, create just like before. I don't really need uh, any name for the animation. And now just like before we add the element. So let's just uh, imagine we're um, doing the push or perhaps uh, we should already split this. So if options direction equals forward and else uh, this. Um, let's keep it like this. Okay. So options forward is direction forward right in here. And now we can add the element, which is also in the options. So the entering element is this, um, options dot entering element. I didn't really find, uh, of which type these options are. Um, perhaps if somebody from the Ionic team or anyone knows it, uh, usually there is something written here, but I really can't figure out which type this is from the animation package. Um, yeah, really not sure about that. 
or would it be from the configuration type animation builder? No, not really. It's not really about which parameters are passed. Anyway, um, we want to animate our entering element. Uh, we want to use the duration we have set up at the top. We want to use some easing, so ease in should be fine if we want to display the page. And then from two, let's say we simply want to uh, animate the opacity. So always just have this fading animation for pages. Might be something you could need in your application. And now you see, once we return this block, this is of the type animation, so we satisfy our functionality. And now we should be able to see, going back, of course, still no animation, but going forward, animates our page into the view. And now we can do the same thing for our else statement. In this case, we're not using the entering element or we're actually using the entering element. Um, but for the uh, yeah, for this one, we will keep it like this. But this is the root animation um, because we now need to do two things. We need to make the entering visible and we need to make the leaving invisible. And no problem, we can chain two animations. So that one is the leaving animation. In this case, we're animating the leaving element. Uh, let's use same duration. Um, perhaps this one is out. And this one goes from opacity one to opacity zero. And now to chain both of these together, we can again use the animation controller, create a new animation, and then call add animation, which allows to pass in an array of animations. So we're gonna pass in the root animation and the leaving animation, which means both of these will happen at the same time. And if we now leave from the page the result, Let's take a look. Looks like this. We can go to the second, which will uh, only make the entering page appear. And if we go back, we will fade out this page and fade in the uh, new page. So we get actually a nice transition. If we put a, the duration perhaps to something like 400, this could actually be something that's, that's really useful in application. I kind of enjoy it, actually. <laughs> I'm surprised. Um, perhaps just 300 would be enough. Uh, a little tweaking or 250. I don't feel great about this animation yet, but it kind of feels pretty good. Kind of nice. I like it. Maybe you could also animate like the header, different elements. You can access everything through the entering and leaving element. Perhaps you might have to write some specific queries to I get the element or you could simply also go from the base element and uh, query whatever you need uh, from the page, the header, the content. Everything could be animated um, and then once you're done set it as the animation. In our case for the nav animation but if you want to check out the configuration and you will find all the other possible values that you could override either directly at the top or li just like they did here, no here. Um, directly when entering the modal, the um, toast, the alert, whatever it might be. So I hope you enjoyed this quick win on the new API that's available. We recently had the gesture controller, now we have the animation controller. I really like these additions to Ionic. Um, let me know what you think about them and if you would like to see even more on them, perhaps creating a specific animation, a specific transition for the application. You know, just let me know below in the comments. I always hear your words and I always try to build the content that you need. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and stay subscribed so you get notified about all the new tutorials, quick wins and other app development and web development videos on this channel. If you want to learn more about Ionic with in-depth courses, a community of like-minded developers so you can learn and build your apps faster, you should definitely check out the Ionic Academy, which is my code school to help you with everything Ionic with a huge library of courses, material, and a supportive Slack channel so we can get your app out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you inside the next video. Have a great day and happy coding.
Simon. <laughs>